Hello and welcome to Mulheim an der Ruhr in Germany. This is the Ahorn main distributor. These motorhomes manufactured in Italy, but Ahorn is a German company. Why has it got written up there face to face? Well, I'll show you as soon as uh, we go in. There it says, it says face to face sits bank face-to-face -face seating group, use of the English language, but I don't think we normally say that uh, in English. So anyway, Canada, TF Plus from Ahorn. And uh, so face-to-face -face means seats on either side of the vehicle, as you can see in this example. So. Uh, if you're thinking having a lot of people around or something like that, then that's what it is. Uh, in this case, we've got a bed up there, and at the back we have the uh, typical sort of German layout. Now, Ahorn also does this rear layout, but with a door uh, immediately at the end of the bed. Here, we have got but I term an open toilet. And uh, that's now what I'm terming the closed shower, but being an open shower, this is my language, but anyway, somebody has to make words up. Um, it, it's gotta be on two sides open. So that's how I define it. And let's see how long it takes these sayings to catch on. I've noticed that other people have started saying German layout uh, for the beds. Uh, sensible sliding door over here. Oops. Unfortunately only one drain uh, hole in the shower and it's a small one at that. So coming to the bed here uh, there will be somewhere a something that will go here and this will allow this thing here to lie on top of it and it'll give you a big bed like that, should you so want. Uh, let's have a look in here. You've got this enormous storage area here, although it could do with a, uh, a rail at the top for your clothes. What about in here? There's your boiler. You've got more enormous amount of st storage there as well. So I think if you had a van like this, then you would you'd want to put a rail in. Right, this is the garage. And there you go, I sort of see in here a bit. It's a bit dark. Doors at either side. But it's, it's a big enough garage to get the, a couple of bikes in, I think. But we'll see from the, the doors outside how big it really is. So, two sets of ladders. What do you need two sets of ladders for? Uh, one's for the bed up there, and the second one is for in here. It's not that you sort of uh, got this thing about becoming a fireman or something of that nature. Now, uh, one thing, however, is up here. Okay, the ledge is quite deep, as you can see from where my, my hand is. But, 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 I think an extra net or something up there would be a good idea. And here we've got storage there as well. Okay, and a skylight in the, in the roof which you can, oh, you can pull this thing here across and that'll make it uh, dark if you want. And you can pull this thing across if you want. Keep the insects out. Uh, they'll get in anyway, but uh, I think I'll keep some of them out. Right, so I'll close the door here so you can see what it's like when there's uh, no one, sorry, someone up front. You've got this big, this big area now. Uh, however, yeah, if you've got people sleeping up there, they're going to want to get into the toilet here and into the shower. Uh, there's no sort of curtain or something like that. Many 
companies put curtains and things up here I suppose there is place for a rail but uh, should you so desire I mean I I never uh, I haven't put one up yet I, when I had one I never used it but uh, anyway good right so in here we've got this bed up there and you may be wondering how that comes down so keep wondering about that one and uh, three burners you've got a lot of space there to do things in and you've got a proper domestic uh, plug there drain hole as you can see built at positions on either side of the uh, uh, the sits bank the uh, the seating area and so anyway you want to see the bed come down without the it needs a key fortunately I've got it so let's take the thing down And this bed has already been made up. Hey, that was good. Now, what's interesting here is that you can actually see what happens with the bedding. And uh, admittedly, that is uh, sort of, a, that's pretty light. Uh, but up here, here you thick pillow and uh, So you can store things above the uh, when the, when it's up at its maximum height. Let's come through here. You see the view from the bed. Looking back. Well, I think that looks pretty good. Actually. Right, this vehicle is on the Renault Master, which I'll, uh, you can see there. Now, this is quite unusual. There's not many uh, uh, motorhomes on Renault Masters, but more to the point is that they build solely on the Renault Master. This one here is a uh, six-speed uh, vehicle. And uh, I, the, the, I suppose you could get it an automatic if you really ask them to. Uh, it's uh, it's not in the list of options, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure you could sort of insist on it. Uh, what is on the list of options for the for Renault's uh, chassis packet? This is the most singular expensive thing that they uh, uh, option that they do, which is well over two and a half thousand, well just a bit over two and a half thousand. Uh, is to and that will give you a uh, different radio it will give you with uh, speakers it will give you electrical uh, windows and uh, mirrors it will give you uh, cruise control hill start assist traction control and uh, uh, so that's uh, two and a half plus uh, there's a design pocket a packet which uh, sort of will how you've got the uh, how it looks internally and uh, that's extra that's nearly 900 um, now, one thing, uh, oh, I, I mentioned the automatic, uh, if you really insisted, you can actually have a, uh, this is on a 107 uh, kW, 145 horsepower, that's standard, but you can have it 122, 165 horsepower, uh, twin turbo, uh, with uh, stop start, it says, according in the Renault uh, information. Uh, for one and a half thousand around, uh, you can have a driver climate control, or uh, I, suppose that's, I suppose what they really mean is air conditioning and uh, up front if you want a uh, climate control uh, aircon in the back uh, you have to get one of these truma things uh, uh, or something does not be true it could be some some other uh, manufacturer now the electrical bed that we've got here which I demonstrated that comes at a cost of uh, 1160 uh, but if you don't want electrically, you can have a manual one. That's going to cost 200 more than the electrical one. Uh, you can get uh, children's seats around 300. Uh, oh, you can get a winter packet. Now, the winter packet 
uh, will include uh, Tuma 6. Uh, or if you, uh, that'll cost 1160, but if you if you put a fork out another 500, you can have an e-winter pack of the Truma 6E. That would include waste water heating and um, isolate, insulate, I should say, um, pipes. So that could, uh, so that sort of could come in handy. Right, uh, let's see this thing. It's not turned on. Oh, it is turned on. Sorry, sorry, it wasn't. <laughs> sorry. This is the Ahorn uh, display, though it has actually recently introduced an, an, another uh, display that sort of looks a bit, uh, bit cooler and uh, cooler. It depends on the amount of opinion, really, doesn't it? And here we have the fridge. There you go. And I've got a bit at the bottom that comes out. All right, so uh, poss you possibly be uh, wondering how this goes up. I think there's something else I want to tell you about the engine. 80 liters of fuel in the engine, uh, plus 20 of add blue. That's diesel, by the way. Uh, the uh, well, obviously it's add blue in it. Um, there's something else I want to tell you about. I forgot what it was. It doesn't matter. Uh, table comes out like this. Like, uh, like this. Sorry. So you can get, get an idea of the size. It'll move across. The thing is, I need two hands to do that, so I can't actually show you. But uh, you got the, the table is enormous. That and that, that is uh, that's pretty good. I think. Well, my opinion, you might think it isn't. Oh, I tell you what, I didn't tell you. It's the width of the van. The width of the van it's quite it's quite wide it's 237 centimeters and that i suspect uh might be a problem for uh some people it's 748 centimeters long it is highest point it's 296 and the thing you really wanted to know because i told the cost the options but what is the base price is 44,700. you can put this on a three and a half uh, ton basis. Sorry, well, it's obvious, but I mean, uh, well, not necessarily, uh, but you can go up to four tons. This thing, empty weight, uh, as I recall, three thousand, just, just over three tons. Let's say, say under 3,100. Okay, so you've got four people on it. You might start wanting to think about putting it on a, on, on the four ton basis, and that'll give you 900 kilos of uh, payload. Uh, very wide drawers in here, and uh, oh, I got this one as well. This one isn't so big as you can see because there's something behind. What could that be? It's probably the gas. And uh, I'll open this as well. And you've got this sort of this 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 curved roof. I'm, I like flat roofs, but uh, I do appreciate in this case it does allow the bedding to go up there, the bed and the bedding. And when I stand under here, but I can't. Really, I'm not going to stand under there. I'm just going to demonstrate. But there is, for me anyway, there's plenty of room to actually stand up. So. Uh, Oh, that's about it for this van. Yeah, I'll take you on the outside though. Now you know what face to face means. Garage door. Yeah, I think that's it. I'll need to revise what I said getting two um, bikes and there might be a bit in the awkward side. It might not be big enough. Uh, that's for the t toilet cassette and that's where your gas goes. And then you can see electric hookup. That's how that works. And that's your water, as you can see where the water tank is. Uh, let's have a look at a couple more vans whilst we're here in the same series. 
all cost the same amount. There's a bit of difference in the weight because they're sort of built differently, but it's not really all that significant. Uh, I think across this range of what I'm going to show you now, the weight in the base form is around uh, 100 kilos, something like that. So this one at the rear, it's got a queen bed. Which I'll show you under. See under here, you can lift this up. You've got, well it's not only storage, so that's where the boiler is, but you've got a bit of storage under it. I think these beds, and I've shown these in other, uh, other videos I've done, I think they're pretty good. Another thing I do like is the way that this bends over quite conveniently. You can't really see that there's a fold in it from here, but, but uh, I think the mattresses have really improved in uh, since I started doing videos you know, corner kitchen and a different fridge, bigger one. And, and I, I must point this one out because I think this is quite good. Uh, with the Renault Master, gives all this more, this space extra here. Oh, and the bulwark, which I think is pretty reasonable. Uh, oh, it doesn't have as so much space in the garage. And uh, this one here uh, has got a, um, a bed at the back. And I think this is the sort of thing that which might actually uh, appeal to many people. So a lot of people ask for uh, a lounge. And that's what you get here. You're going to get two beds for... I won't say two beds to the price of one because uh, the price isn't all that. Uh, uh, well, no, it is. It's you know, more or less the same. Anyway, and uh, guess what? I'll have shown you how the bed comes down. Only, only I left the key in the other van. So, uh, so there we go. Uh, I'd like to learn how to um, keep the camera at the same level of brightness all the time. I'm now using an automatic, uh, but I do have a manual override. And sorry, I'm uh, automatic. Uh, yeah, manual override. And the thing is, I haven't quite really learned how to use it yet. But uh, and I bought this rather, um, I don't know, I mean, the software for it, the app. Uh, it's called Filmic Pro. But I haven't haven't really got the hang of it yet. Anyway, should have brought the key with me. That's called TU plus, TE plus, and uh, I mentioned in the other van about the uh, bed that comes uh, up to the end. Well, this isn't one of them. <laughs> this is a German layout. You can see where it looks like when the beds are actually uh, singles. Other than that, it's the same up here as the star of the show. But 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 uh, here you can see uh, layout up front. I've got to say that I like the one uh, with the face to face uh, better than this. And there's the keys. All right, I'll, I'll show you how the bed comes down. Seeing the keys are here, I'll do it. All right, so first of all, I've got to take this out. Otherwise, I'll uh, leave that there for the moment. And take this one out as well. Oops, right, that's really a two hand job. Good, and now we will have this bed coming down. There you go. So, as you can see in this one, it's more or less the same as in the other one. 
uh, the ladder's been left on the top there, which I think is probably the usual thing. Uh, how about getting into the bed? I'm going to go up front here. Right. I'm not so keen on the idea of using the ladder myself. Um, turn the chair around here. You can stand on the chair and get in. What you never do, by the way, though, is put your hand... This thing here is not designed to take uh, 70 kilos plus of weight. So uh, don't do it. The bed will take a maximum, I think, of 250. Yeah, so, I mean, if you're overweight, then really, you don't want to be buying a motorhome. You want to be getting something. Uh, you want to get a bicycle, I think. Oh, I didn't show this either. I didn't show this in the other one. These things here are for nets. So you, uh, there's a net that goes, oh yeah, I'll take it down again. That'll do. Uh, net under here. And the net, there's the net. You see, there's the net. Net goes on there and it stops you falling out of bed. Now, if you remember using a couchette on a, on a train? Oh, you've never used one. Uh, well, anyway, uh, they used to have these on trains. And uh, that, the point of that was to stop you falling out. Hey, there's the van. Uh, I just want to point this out that yesterday I did what I think was one of my better films on this van, which 557 centimeters long. But uh, it's 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 pretty good. It's not really the subject of this. So, but I do I do want to suggest you have a look at that video. But hey, whilst I'm in here, I want to show you this kitchen. This actually is not so much. Uh, it, it's congratulations to the Italian company Can who've actually developed the thing. And uh, okay, well, good thank me to Ahorn for using it. But I think that's really really stylish, in my opinion. Anyway. Okay, uh, that was a Canada TE Plus. <laughs> and now, uh, you've seen the, uh, there's actually one, two, um, one, two, three, four, five, five vans in this series. Uh, sorry, there's seven vans in this series, two of them aren't here. But, uh, uh, but whilst we're here, we'll have a look at this over cab one here. Now this wouldn't come with a uh, a bed that descends in the roof because it's got a big bed up here. And this lifts up like that, and so you've got plenty of space here around the. Uh, when you lift, get up out of the chair and same layout at the back right now similar to the uh, this range is uh, they've got uh, an Alaska range as well TD plus which in this case I'll just show you stick the thing around the door quickly to sort of give a demonstration this is the widthwise bed at the back Storage, tiny space in his really wardrobe, and rather nice toilet. Bed above. And I'll show you a queen bed one as well.
there you have the green bird. Similar price, very, uh, no, very, it depends on, you know, because the options are sort of hiding everything, aren't they, really? So that's, uh, Okay, so this thing here said similar price because it's the uh, 15,940, starting at 47,900. Uh, but uh, once more, design packet, Renault chassis packet, they're the things that's going to, uh, the winter packet. Uh, winter packet uh, in this case would be Webasto, Evotop uh, 55, uh, insulated pipes, and uh, um, heated water tank. And you get a bigger fridge, uh, reversing camera. Sorry, I, I think I forgot to add that yesterday. And um, panoramic roof window and a four meter long uh, awning. So I think I forgot to add that as well in the, when I was doing the, uh, the options. Right, good. So, uh, hope you found that of interest. Thanks for sticking with me for 27 minutes. It was this one here, which was the uh, star of the video. TF Plus, and it's pretty darky. I do like to finish with a view looking at the vehicle uh, in one way or another from the front. But here, let's see if I can get it in. So. Today is, incidentally, I used to say the date at the beginning of my videos until it started getting too confusing for people why I was saying it, but I'm going to tell you what the date is today. It is the 18th of September 2020 and the temperatures forecast to be 25. Two days ago it was 32 and sep September, so that's that's pretty good really, but I've got no, no complaints on the uh, temperature front. So, thanks very much for watching, and uh, if you subscribe, you'll find out when I'm doing other videos about other vans. So, all the best from Germany.